name is James Rysek. I'm 12 years old. How long, Julius, have you been playing baseball? Uh, I've, I'm playing since I was eight. Okay, so four years now, yeah? Yeah. And how long have you been the bat boy at the Bundesliga level? Um, I started 2015-16 uh, uh, um, um, against Hamburg. was my first bat boy game. Okay. So I think it's my third year as a bat boy. And how did you get started? Like, what, what appealed to you about being a bat boy? Uh, I heard about uh, a guy from my team. Um, he did a bad boy for the second Bundesliga, and I, I was like, uh, why not for the first Bundesliga? So, going to home games, also for Worcester games, um, make a bad boy. And what are some of the things you do during the day to get the game ready and, and do your bad boy duties? So, I, uh, I always, when I know it's a Bundesliga game, and the next morning I always wake up with a smile face because I know it's going to be a great day. And yeah, just have some fun on the field, get myself ready. Um, I change my cleats, so I get my shoes on, and um, I'm gonna drink something because I'm really thirsty every time. What are the things you're supposed to do during the game? Okay, um, I'm getting the bats every time for uh, coach. Wall. I give it gives me a few rules uh, to do a good bat boy. Um, what are those rules? Don't talk too much to the, um, to the players. Um, I always had a hel have a helmet on, and uh, every time when the umpire does like this, get four balls ready and uh, be ready. What is your favorite thing about being a bat boy? Um, I just like it because I love baseball really much, and um, looking just bullets for your games because I like this team because they win a lot. Um, I just like it baseball. What do you think as a, as a player about the opportunity to sit on a bench every week with a bunch of guys from the national team? Because you got, what, six players on your team that are national team players? Yeah. What is that like for you as, a, as an up-and-coming player? I'm grateful for that because that's uh, it doesn't happen every day that you sit uh, next to uh, really nice uh, guys that are in the national team, so that's pretty good. What are some of the things you've learned sitting on the bench that you don't think you would have picked up Play, just playing the game as you do with your friends. Um, I'm every time I uh, think of something in the game because it's every time I think of what can happen next. I don't. I forget what happens. So I just think what can happen next. So that's pretty. Uh, it's pretty interesting. What is the thing you don't like to do as far as your bat boy duties? What is the thing you wish you didn't have I to like do? I like to play because <laughs> I see they have fun out there on the field every time. I mean, I have two on the field, but I don't. I don't play every week. What's your position on the field when you do play? I play pitcher. I'm a, a starter sometimes. I'm a catcher. Okay. And I sometimes play right field. What's your favorite of those three? I think catcher. Why? Because uh, you can block balls. You can uh, throw guys out at second base or third base or first base. Uh, first base. That's pretty fun. And uh, also pitching, I like it a lot because you can make some boys strike out and. Right field is cool because you can throw at home base or you can uh, catch some balls and say not today. What do you think about, as a catcher, the responsibility that comes with that position? I mean, it's important that you uh, block every ball you can block when someone's on base because you don't want to get runs because of you. Um, so yeah, it's cool to be a, a catcher is like a leader on the field, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. What is um, something you'd like to tell guys or girls your age that are thinking about becoming bat boys, about the thing that you do and, and what it gives you in terms of, of why it puts a smile on your face every week? I mean, it's, uh, it's, pretty, um, it's pretty cool because uh, there's no bat boy in this league. It's, I'm the only bat boy, I think, in this league. I don't know how it's in the South, uh, South League, right. uh, but in the North League, I'm the only bat boy. So. That's amazing. And it's because what, you asked? I asked because um, I was interested uh, in it. Just I could talk to players a little bit, have fun with them. So it's pretty cool. And you've grown a lot in your responsibilities. I've watched you over the last couple of years, and and you've really taken to the position. Who trained you? I know BJ gave you some basic rules, but what's some of the things that the guys do to help you learn how to be a better bat boy? Uh, my brothers play on this team. They uh, taught me what I can do better or what should I do better. And I try to uh, do that in the next game. Nice. So a couple older brothers sit yeah. you down after. The 17. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have two older brothers too, so okay. I understand. So. What is something you want kids your age to know about anything, baseball or the world or I, I, life? 
Um, I mean, baseball is not just baseball. I mean, baseball is about Jesus. Thinking about Jesus. Uh, How so? So I, I just know. I just want to know that my kids know that baseball is not just only a, with, about baseball. I mean, there will be, be not a Bundesliga team if every uh, team will be not together. So they need to hold together. So uh, uh, as well. And you think that that Jesus helps them do that? Yeah. How so? That what? How? Definitely a lot. Definitely yeah. a lot. Because uh, he gives us the gift to play baseball. Is there anything I haven't asked you about in terms of, of being a bat boy that you think would be interesting for people to know? I mean, I, uh, if, I play, if, if I would be playing Bundesliga, it would be very nice if I had some uh, kids that were doing bat boy. Well, I think you're going to take us around and show us some of the things you do now, yeah? Yeah. Great. So this is the locker uh, of the Bundesliga players. Um, Right here, there are some Bundesliga players, but in here we talk every time uh, with the Bundesliga players before games and after games. Um, this is where we are before games, between two games, and after two games. And what do you guys talk about in here? Strategy and things like that? I'm not, I'm not every time in here, so I'm, I'm actually not allowed to be in here. So. Ah, well then we better not let you be in here too long. T ball. Uh, also, the Shula player, Lily. Um, I think it's Cologne um, playing T ball team. So, I had fun uh, playing here as well. So. And one of the unique things about this particular park or stadium is that all four fields, you, people can't see it behind us right now, but all four fields are actually in one circle together, right? Yeah, so, you get to watch. Right. Right. How does that help you as a player? Uh, what fields or? The idea that you can be playing t-ball here and then turn around and go to the Bundesliga game. It helps me a lot because uh, I know Paderborn is uh, uh, they have three fields. If I uh, go on one field and then I want to watch the Bundesliga, it will be a long way to visit there because it's way not so short like here. That's the Bundesliga field. Um, oh, that's where the Bundesliga is playing. Um, Mr. Crowd is out there, our home crowd is here actually. Um, this is the Daga from our team. We see that they're making the field for the second game ready. Um, what I'm supposed to do is also uh, get some drinks or get some something to eat for the players in there. Um, so that's why I also uh, like to do bad boy because I love this field. Uh, I like the crowd a lot. It's good. What have you learned about maintaining a field? If you want to play, you got to work, yeah? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do uh, to help get the field ready? Um, I actually like to do the mound because you uh, can make sure that the pitcher has to do this pitching uh, feel well, feels well on the mound, so he's got a good mound to pitch. And I think that's the goal for baseball, that everyone has the same uh, so that's fair for all.